What's up, Guru Gang peeps, Padawans? Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm your guru. Come on in, sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a cold beverage, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum. Enjoy my reaction to episode 7 of the hit sci fi channel series, Resident Alien, starring Alan Tudyk. And um, yeah, coming off from last episode, um, you can pretty much say a Harry was tripping balls um, after taking some LSD acid um, at an art show, and now um, he's basically um, uh, high. And um, him high and him as an alien, um, two hilarious things. But when he when he's out in in the uh, Times Square, um, wandering about, it looks like um, his alien form is um uh letting go and uh um and it he's becoming alien or if unless he is just basically tripping out and he's imagining that his uh he is uh, letting go of his human form and and transforming into his alien form um remains to be seen if that's happening or he's just um imagining the whole thing and he's tripping balls like big time so and and um add to that um uh, Linda Hamilton's character's minion, that uh, female um, agent, um, a, fem a female um, uh, subordinate, is there as well. So um, it's not looking good at all. That's not good. So uh, and and still have to uh, see whether or not Goliath will show up. If that lady is Goliath or, or knows where Goliath is. So let's not waste any time. Get into the episode um, and react to it. Um, episode seven title of this episode is Escape from New York. So, yeah, has a little uh, um, uh, Kurt Russell feel to it uh, from, like, Escape from L.A., but, um, yeah, but this is not Kurt Russell. This is Alan Tudyk as Harry Vanderspiegel. So, um, let's, like I said, let's not waste any time getting the episode. Before we do, if you enjoyed any of my content, whether, whether it be from my Inner Sanctum channel or YG Anime channel, oh, for, YG Anime channel for all things anime. Link is right out there. Check that out. Help support that channel. And like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of any future videos being posted on your channel. Like always, all my full-length reactions, all unedited, um, full-length. Um, you can sync up on your end to um, uh, check that out. And... Um, and they'll be posted to my Patreon or Rumble and both links along with my social media links posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, let's get into episode 7 of uh, Resident Alien, Escape from New York, All right? Here we go. Oh, 33 years ago, okay. <laughs> Going way back. Harry's race. Goliath? Uh oh, he did. When I first came to Earth, Ooh, I thought here we I go. would be watching the dead. <laughs> He's tripping balls big time. What? Things have changed. All the pretty colors. What makes you think Harry's an alien? Come with me. She knows something. You're nervous. I understand, but don't be. I know who Harry is, and I know why you're here. How? How do you know that? I recognize his energy. He lived with a lot of inner turmoil. You can see it in his art. Wait, you, you, you said lived? What? Please tell me that Goliath is here. Goliath is here. Where? Ooh, okay. What is this? Ooh. This is Goliath. I don't understand. 
after Goliath came to Earth, we became each other's whole world. But his great wish was to connect with one of his people again. The signal that brought you here was a personal invitation. Goliath held out for as long as he could. But six months ago, he... Their species fossilize when they die. Ooh. Please give me. Not Goliath good. Goliath cannot be dead. We came all this way and you don't understand what's at stake. I'm sorry. This is all there is. <gasps> God, what happened? You are alien. Well, I took some LSD on the <laughs> uh, I'm surrounded by horrible creatures. Just well, at least it's um, New York, so. Take off its head. New York City Public Library. Okay, I know where you are. Don't go anywhere. I will be right there. <laughs> Feeling better? Yes. <laughs> the ice is stabilizing my human form. Coming off from the high. I want to meet someone like me, so maybe I can feel like I am home. Yeah, about that. Bad she news. She spoke to Violinda at the party. She knows Goliath. Or did know him. Um, he's dead, Harry. Goliath was dead as soon as he became more human than me. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, she's a bad, bad woman. Oh, perfect good pizza. Oh, following the clues. Not good. Up to nothing, yeah, doing nothing, just alone, lone vibes. Lone vibe. <laughs> nice, okay, let me take this upstairs. No, yeah, I wouldn't hear of it. I'll uh, take this up later. Oh, would you grab Max's bag? He went to Sahar's. Yeah, <laughs> seems like a lawsuit. Oh, is it? Oh, look at this. Am I jabbing myself? Am I jabbing myself? I can't feel anything. You know why? Because I cut myself this morning on the fence and needed stitches, and Dr. Smallwood put my whole damn arm to sleep. <laughs> Let me just grab a pen. <laughs> oh, look at that. Deputy, it looks like you're going to have to write my police reports today. Yeah, I already do that, sir. Well, mm. good. <laughs> look, I'm sure that it's a simple mistake. I mean, Dr. Smallwood is an institution. She Old is literally dirt. delivered your parents, too. Look, you need to fire her ass before a bunch of elves. <laughs> my tree trunk arm here and start making cookies. One mistake should not ruin a woman's life. It's more than one mistake. I saw her for a sore throat and she diagnosed me with hysteria. Ooh. You know, I'm getting the results today from my yearly checkup and I am sure that she will be as spry as ever. You know, last time I saw her, she did a cartwheel. No, she didn't. <laughs> no, she didn't. But I bet she could. I feel very alone. I'm sorry you didn't get to see family on this trip. No Goliath. No idea how we're going to save the world. What are we going to do now? I do not know. Goliath was our last chance to contact my planet. And my last chance to meet one of my people on Earth. I will be forced to talk to myself. <laughs> I tell you to keep it down, but we're in New York. Weird is normal here. So. <laughs> I don't know how his mind worked, though. Maybe this painting is just random. It is not random. Everything my people do has purpose. Okay, well, it's really confusing because it feels like he brought us here for no reason. Are you sure Goliath did not leave anything for me? Violinda didn't mention anything. Do you think she is hiding something? Probably. No. Maybe. I mean, she seemed like she, she was really sad when she showed me his body. You saw Goliath's dead body? Yeah. You could have told me that your people turned to stone when they died, or that they died uh -oh. standing up for that matter. He was standing up? Yes, his dead body was. We, we, what? We, uh, we she lied. To go. Uh oh, she lied. Hey! That's not good. 
murdered her husband. And, and, and now she's profiting from his stuff. This here is a murder sale. That's what mm -hmm. you called us out here for? Uh, she has every legal right to have a yard sale. Thank you, Sheriff. Yeah, I'm just an MS. What do I look like? A uh, hipster poet. Oh, Dick Tracy, damn it. Mm -hmm. Greatest detective in history. And how much you want for this? I don't know. Um, 20 bucks? So? Sam's. He only wore it once. And we were flying to Montana, and he left his old hat on the plane. So he got that one at the airport. He oh, really good cute. memories for her. She actually loved him. Listen, Sheriff, I'm sorry. I, I changed my mind. I can't sell it. I remember these. Sam loved these mystery novels. Always trying to get me to read one. Told me it would help me solve crime. I'll give you, uh, 50 bucks for the whole lot of them. Oh, no, no, Sheriff, that's too much. Listen, if Sam wanted you to have them, then you don't pay. Just consider it a gift from Sam to you. Thank you, Miss Hodges. That's very kind. She seemed like a woman who killed her husband and you. No, sir, she doesn't. like grieving. Oh, that's grief right there, plain and simple. A woman who kills her husband don't hang on to no old hat just to remember him by. Oh, you're going that way? It's weird. Hey, I didn't know you worked out here. I need to see Goliath. Please stop. I told you he passed on. I wish you would respect my privacy. I tried, but I can't stop him. Where is Goliath? She wants us to go. Oh, stop. use my genetic tissue to get pregnant. Goliath contacted me. This is why. Hello? Are you uh -oh. finally the doorbell? That's not good. Yes. We're not open quite yet. You'll have to leave. I'm a little desperate. I'm interested in buying some art and I was told you might be able to help. Are you sure you can't spare a few minutes? You're a freaking Picasso. <gasps> Did you draw this picture? Yeah. I draw police composites of criminals. like soap oh the last time that this happened i was in my first trimester with max uh oh she's pregnant what's wrong i just don't know how i feel about having another kid oh right it's a max what do you mean i didn't what do you mean having another kid means <laughs> my entire life gets put on hold for the next 18 years mm. i have to reset the clock ben would be thrilled <laughs> I mean, he would. Are you sure he would? Why, did he say something to you? Why would he say anything to me? Trust me, I, I know my husband. He wants more kids. Start a family. That's you know why communication you know is important between a husband and a wife. You're a great doctor. Thank you. Unfortunately, I have some bad news for you. What's that? Your blood tests indicate cancer in your colon. <laughs> it's very aggressive. Second opinion. That's Mrs. Another Michelle's test. chart. Oops. Oh, okay. This Wrong test. Is Ben Hawthorne's. Wait, um, so I, I don't have cancer? No. Low in vitamin D. Hmm. It will always be a pillar of this community, but I am going to have to... Get out. <laughs> He's trying to fire you. You're not the doctor you used to be, and if you keep working here, you might kill someone. Is this true? Yes. <laughs> I pulled out our hiring files when I realized Smallwood was about to tell you you were dying. <laughs> Dr. Vanderspiegel is our only real candidate. Good doctor, but not much to look at. He's a patient six, which is a Denver four, which is a California one. He has a birthday coming up. Now maybe I could convince him. Sneaky, buying the presents, soften him up. You've just moved up to a patient's three. Hmm. I could just kill her. No, no more killing. Just a minute, she'll leave. Did you 
you know him? I don't think that's any of your business. You need to leave now. No. Oh, no. Don't take this the wrong oh. way, but I can tell by looking at you, you can't afford a piece like this. You'd be surprised by my resources. The government. That's not good. What's in the bag? Oh, 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 oh. Flashback. I know. Goliath warned me there would be people coming for it. Promise you will take care of my baby. That's going to be his mission. Is to warn a promise. She's gone. Well, that's not good. She's alright. It's like a Terminator. <laughs> Oh, they're not with her then. Okay. <laughs> Who the hell are these guys? Oh, the gravel power group. It's not like I know for sure that I'm that I'm pregnant. Well, let's find out. Thank God these are still in stock. Judy goes through them like Tic Tacs that you piss on. I don't know. I'm I'm not sure I'm ready for the answer yet. You're afraid to take on the responsibility the again of having so got a child. Why do we have to ride on this train for two days? What if someone ties a lady to the tracks? This isn't a silent movie, Harry. And we didn't have a choice. Pretty sure TSA won't let you on a plane with something like that in the bag. Do you even know if and when it will hatch? No. <laughs> on my planet, we mate with a genetic partner. The partner who carries the offspring incubates hundreds of eggs. This is just one egg. One of my kind. Mating with a human partner. I do not know what this will look like. It could be hatching in a year. It could be hatching right now. Or now. Or now. <laughs> Goliath wanted me to have this egg. He knew what would happen if he became impregnated. Goliath died so I could have this baby. Do you want anything? No. He has a responsibility now, a purpose. Ice cream sandwich! <laughs> I went to New York to find an alien even a little like me. A baby contaminated with human emotion. Part alien and part human. It is not a little like me. It is just like me. What's going on, Mike? You haven't turned the page since you came in. I got a bunch of these books from uh, Abigail Hodges, and I uh, thought they'd help me take my mind off some stuff, but it's not working so well. Oh, I kind of feel stuck lately. You know, like I'm in the middle of something, but I'm not sure which way is the right way to go. Mm. I think I made a mistake. I think I might have put the wrong person behind bars. Uh-oh. Well... Last time I made a big mistake like that was back in D.C. and my partner, he didn't go home that day. I was doing guard duty in Vietnam. Dreaming about the burgers we'd order back home. Telling dirty jokes. <laughs> it was an ambush. My buddy hit the floor. I just stood there like an idiot till he bled out. Jesus, Dan. The horror of told me war. it wasn't my fault, but I couldn't shake the guilt. And I ran from that mistake for years. Almost died from it. And how do you even survive something like that? Well, it's not about the surviving. Any soldier who's still with us is surviving. Soldier has to prevail. Learn to honor Joe. Well, he's with me every day. Oh, name him after name him after the, the if you business. Want to honor your partner. Be the best cop you can be. Put the right person behind bars. I changed my mind. I want Tina. 
Oh no. You should have cleaned up after yourself. Now you're gonna give me that egg, and you're gonna tell me where it came from. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a like here's like a Shaolin master. Mark Lawrence. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Episode 7, Escape from New York, and I'm um, um, just uh, spitballing here, but the overall theme, I'm assuming um, my take on it is um, uh, honoring uh, honoring the uh, fallen, uh, in a sense. Um, as we learned from this episode, uh, Goliath um, died, and then um, we find out that um, the... the 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 artist art host the female um uh she and goliath have a child so um the the host gives um uh the responsibility of uh looking after the egg and uh, taking care of the egg raising that egg um that hybrid alien and human to harry so um, that's how he's going to honor the memory, the, the, um, the, uh, ha honor, um, Goliath as to raise Goliath as his own or as a, as some kind of Padawan in a sense. Um, because he, uh, uh, Harry is raised, uh, well, uh, um, in his time on earth as, as a human in a sense. And, um. And uh, raise him with all the emotions that Harry has uh, has experienced and um, grown from dur during his time on Patience, Colorado. Um, learned from Asta and many other people that um, uh, that of the people of Patience, um, Max, Sahar, uh, Dan, everybody um, that he's encountered, and then um, that in turn um, will. Uh, Will uh, will lead 
to something bigger because as we saw at the end of the episode the egg hatching and it, and it's uh hatched right at that point where he was uh the um mayor Ben Hawthorne and the the gang um celebrate uh um Harry's birthday in his cabin, a surprise birthday party. It may not end well, so I'm looking forward to that in episode 8. Um, and then uh, when it comes to honoring the fallen uh, and with uh, Dan's um, advice to, uh, to, to uh, Sheriff Mike, um, uh, when, he, when he shared his experience in Vietnam and uh, uh, his, uh, his teammate, his uh, uh, soldier at arms, his uh, friend and comrade um, in, in the military, uh, uh, Joe, and he honored him with by uh, naming his uh, his diner Joe's Diner, and and in turn, um, Sheriff Mike um, is honoring um, his fallen brother Jesse by being a better cop. And in order to be a better cop, he is thinking um, outside the box in in a way that um, using what uh, the 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 book that Sam lent him or that he has been reading and was able to find along with um, Liv bouncing off ideas and was able to find that uh, a piece of paper behind one of the uh, a, a place within that painting. Or uh, drawing, or whatever the case may be, and it's uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it all unfolds, and and that and that moment right there, that shocking moment where um, Harry kills that uh, government agent, um, Linda Hamilton's minion subordinate, and I thought she was going to be like a, um, a uh, living uh, or uh, be a recurring character, not now. Or she she got decapitated from one, from the uh, from the uh, from the other train, and what a way to die! Um, she was in a way she was like a Terminator of sorts. Um, after uh, Carrie picked her up and threw her right straight through that uh, that glass um, that glass uh, uh, that glass window and down onto the probably I don't know how high that. Uh, how I was, but um, she was able to walk, uh, walk off, walk it off, and she just appeared like it, uh, uh, in a uh, Terminator-like way. And so uh, she's no longer, um, uh, she's no longer uh, able to uh, be the uh, the uh, right hand, the right hand woman for Linda Hamilton's character. So, yeah, things are certainly unfolding leading up to. The uh, season finale. Uh, hopefully, there's like at least ten up, ep- what two episodes or three episodes remaining, um, uh, um, or more episodes. Who knows? Uh, depending if it is just another ten episode season for season two. So yeah, I'm looking forward to episode eight. As are you guys. So, um, and also the that conversation with um, that with Darcy and um, with uh, with. Uh, Kate, um, and that, uh, with Ben in the middle, um, uh, that, that, uh, that news of, of Kate possibly being, uh, pregnant, and, um, and the emotions of, um, uh, of, um, her not wanting another kid, because it'll set her back, uh, uh, as it did when she got pregnant with Max, and, um, and, and, and that open communication is, is lacking in their marriage, where, um, Max does, uh, not ben, no, Ben doesn't want a kid, and, uh, um, and, uh, Kate does, uh, thinks he does, so, um, there's still, like I said, in marriage is, a uh, is all about communication, open communication, and there is a uh, lack. There is lacking communication with those two, but not with um, Ben and um, and Darcy because there's history there. So it's gonna be interesting to see where where uh, his heart lies. Is it with or is it with Kate or is it with um, Darcy? It's gonna be interesting to see. Um, like I said, to um, which uh, which way he'll sway. Um, 
yeah. And like I said, looking forward to episode eight as th those uh, storylines progress. So um, if you enjoyed any of my, uh, if you enjoyed my reaction to this, awesome. Um, uh, I hope to hear from you. What did you think of this episode? Share your thoughts down below. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed my content for uh, when it comes to uh, Resident Alien or any other of my content on my Instagram channel, or my YG Anime channel for all things anime. The link is right up there. Check that out. Help support that channel. Like I said, if you enjoyed either content for their channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and it'll be notified of any future videos being posted on your channel. And like always, all my full-length reaction videos are posted on my Patreon or Rumble. Both links along my social media links posted underneath this video in the description section. And when it comes to my full-length reaction videos they're full uh, they're all unedited and uh and um you'll be able to sync up on on your end when, when it comes to uh, watching my, my full-length reactions and with that said tip my hat to you may the force be with you until next time for episode eight of sci-fi channels hit series resonating all right later